geeks. It is time to get naked with Urban Decay. I came up with three different looks for you guys using this palette because I had so many requests on what to do with this palette. I will say it took me a long time to come up with three very different looks just because I'm kind of limited on colors as you can see. But I came up with three neutral ones that you can wear for either day or night. So for our first look using the Naked Palette, you want to prime your lids, and I already did so using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Eden. Now this is very yellow, so if you are fair skin or dark skin, it may look too unnatural on your skin unless you want a creamy color, but anyways, I applied that. It's good for medium skin tones. I'm going to take a black eyeliner, and it's the one that comes in the kit, so you can just take that. And we're going to start with rubbing this right along the upper lash line. And I'm going to come out just a little bit and wing it up just a smidge. So that way you get that kind of winged liner effect. What you want to do is stop halfway, don't go any further than that, along your lash line. Then take a pencil brush like this, this is the MAC 219 brush. And I'm going in with the color Creep. And it's that black color there. We're just going to smudge this on top just to kind of soften it a little bit and to set the liner so it doesn't melt throughout the day. So what I'm going to do is run this right on top of that liner. And again, I'm going to bring it up and out to kind of get that winged liner effect. Now if you need to clean up this line under here, you can take a Q-tip and just rub it underneath. That way you get kind of a crisper line. You can even take a little bit of eye makeup remover if you want. I'm going to use the MAC Pro Eye Makeup Remover. And I got these little pointy Q-tips from, from Sally's because they work really, really well. So just take that and you can clean up that line a bit. Use the other side. It's like a flat paddle. These are the coolest Q-tips. And just clean up that area. Next step is to take that same brush, wipe it off really well. I'm going to go in with the color Half Baked. And it's a gorgeous gold color. And this is where we get that little bit of pop because otherwise this look is just kind of, um, I don't want to say boring, but it's kind of everydayish. If you want a little pop, it's great to have a color under here. So I'm going to use that. And all we're going to do is smudge this under the lower lash line. I'm also going to come in here near the tear duct. See how pretty that is? And then the fun part is to put it right under that black liner and bring it up like that. Now, if you want this to be more work appropriate, I wouldn't bring this out quite as far, for <laughs> quite as far. I cannot talk today. Leave the black liners is, don't put the gold out as far and it'll be great for a work time appropriate. So just put a little pop of gold under there and smudge it. Now your final step is to take a flat shader brush like this and we're gonna go in with the color Virgin and it's this really light shimmery color here. We're just gonna apply this on the inner part of the eye this step is optional, of course, but I like a little brightness in here, especially if you've had a long work week and you want to look more awake. So all I'm doing is putting this on the inner part of the eye. I'm also blending it up here just to really brighten the whole eye and then blend it out. And then all you have to do is apply your mascara. If you want a little liner in the waterline, you can do that, but I've already done it. So let's go on to the cheeks and lips. And I'm just going to use one product for this. This is super easy. I'm going to use the... Urban Decay Afterglow Cheek Tint. It's a mouthful. I'm using this color here, which is Score. It's a gorgeous peachy color. I'm going to use it for both eyes and lips. So let me, hold on, wipe off my lip balm, keeping them nice and moist. I'm going to take two fingers, clean fingers, pat it in the product, and we're just going to put this here on the apples of the cheeks just to kind of get a nice glow. So just pat that on there. Really natural looking. And then just take one finger and really get a fair amount of this product and we're going to put it here on the lips for a nice kind of peachy pink color to the lips. And that's all you really need. It's super easy. It's great for everyday wear. If you want to tone it, again, tone it down again, just don't bring the gold out so far. It'll be perfect work. So let's go on to the second look for the Naked Palette. So as usual, to start off the look, you want to prime the lids, and I did that already with the Stila Prime Pot. I'm going to go in with the Mug Outer V brush, and it's kind of like a pencil brush, but a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can see the difference there, but I'm going to use that, and starting off with the color Buck. 
this one here. If you're darker skin than me, you want to go in with a black color. And if you're very fair, then maybe you want to do the naked color. But I'm going to do the in-between, and that's Buck. Take that brush, dip it in, and we're going to do a very strong line there in the crease. So I'm going to look straight ahead and just draw that line. I know this is going to look really weird at first, but I want a very defined line just like this. And then I'm going to pick up some more and just connect it to the outer part of my eyes so it creates kind of that V shape right there. Take that same brush now, go in with the next lighter color, and for me that's Naked. Now if you used black to start off with, your blending color is going to be this one. If you use Naked, you need something even lighter. So I'm going to take Naked, and I'm just going to go right above that darker brown that I just used, and start to blend this upwards, just to smoke it up and blend it out. Now if you still feel that this part up here isn't blended that well, you need to go in with a color that's close to your skin. There's nothing in this palette, but I have this shadow already. So I'm going to take Max Brulee and a stiff dome brush, and we're just going to sweep this up here under the brow, just to soften any harsh lines and make this just a little bit more blended. Now switch to a pencil brush. I'm going to go in with a black color. If that's too harsh for you, you can go in with this dark brown and that's Dark Horse. I'm going to take some of that and smudge it here under the lower lash line, concentrating on the outer part. Stop about halfway, and that stuff's optional for you. Now what you want to do is pick up some of that black or dark brown, and what I'm going to do is just intensify this crease by putting a little bit here right on that outer part of the eye and just a little bit in that crease, stopping about there because I want it to just darken this outer part of the eye here. So take that, blend it out just a little. You can go back in with that other dome brush, pick up some more buck and go over it just to kind of blend it out. Now if you like how this looks, you can stop there, put on your mascara, and go. I want just a little bit of shimmer here, so I'm going to take a flat stiff brush and the color Sin. A little bit of Sin. If you are darker, I would do Sidecar. If you're lighter, I would do Virgin, but I'm going to take that middle shimmery color and just pat this right here on the lid, just for a little bit of pop and shine. Now all you have to do is apply your eyeliner and mascara. I'm going to use the Stila Could Kajal eyeliner and topaz. It's kind of a peachy color just because I want to open the eyes a bit and make them look brighter. So apply that in the waterline. And then just apply your mascara. Now for the cheeks, I want it to be just very warm and peachy, very summery looking. So I'm going to use Tarte's blush in Tipsy. It's a really pretty peach color. It's a matte finish. I'm going to take the MAC 109 brush. You can use any blush brush that you want, honestly. I'm just going to almost contour with it. I'm going to apply it slightly under the cheekbone. And then, doing circle motions like this, start to blend it up onto the cheekbone. Now to highlight and give me a nice beautiful glow, I'm going to use Tarte Smooth Operator. It's a kind of a creamy highlighter product. Really pretty. I'm going to put just a blob of that on the back of my hand and then take a cheek highlighter brush like this, stipple it on the back of your hand to get the excess off and to blend it out, smile, just stipple it here on the tops of the cheekbones to give you that really beautiful glow. Then for the lips, I'm going to use an Urban Decay lipstick in Indecent. It's kind of cool because it has this little sword thingy that comes out, so you pull that out. And it's a really pretty, kind of frosty, peachy color. It's kind of sheer, so if you like um, really pigmented lipsticks, you may not like these, but they're very moisturizing and um, feel nice on the lips. So apply that. And then because I want a really nice peach color to the lips, I'm wearing my um, favorite peach lip gloss right now is Makeup Designer One in Cantaloupe, just because it's very pigmented and very true peach color. So apply that here on top. And it's nice because it's a little squeeze too, so it's pretty much foolproof. You don't have to worry about messing it up. Just apply that. And you have gorgeous, full peaches and cream lips to go with your nice nudie eyes. So, hope you guys had fun with that. Let's go on to the third look using this palette. Um, so yeah, let's get going with that one. So 
So after you put your primer on, we're going to take a flat stuff brush like this one. And I'm going in with the gold color. And this is one of my favorite gold eyeshadows. It's the color Half Baked. So I'm going to take some of that. And we're going to put this in the inner tear duct. But I want to show you guys how we're going to blend this out. So start it here. Bring it up slightly above the crease. Now what we're going to do is sweep it up here above the crease a little bit. So as you can tell, it kind of comes up some right above the crease. Make sure to leave the center of the lid blank though. Your next step is to take a small dome brush like this. This is the Mug Outer V brush. And I'm going to go in with a color that's close to my skin. Now if you are fairly tan, you could probably use Naked. If you're dark, you could use the buck right here, but I'm a little bit lighter than that, so I'm just going to take any matte finish eyeshadow close to your skin. We're just going to use this to blend right up here above the gold. I'm doing this step next just so that when I put this dark silver on, it doesn't merge up here and make my eyes look too dark. Now take that same exact brush. We're going to go in with the silver color, and it's the gunmetal right here on the end. So take some of that. And this is where you got to be careful because you don't want to come up too high. But I'm going to just put it right here on the outer part of my lid, staying right under the crease. And what we're going to do is just blend it slightly inwards, feathering it in, doing short strokes. Now to blend up here above the silver, take that same brush, wipe it off really, really well on a clean old towel. I'm going to go in now with Naked that kind of matte tan color. We're going to use this as our blending color and just apply this slightly above the silver and just keep wiping it like this just to blend that out. Now we can go back in with that flat stuff brush we used earlier, flip it over or wipe it off. We're going to go in with the color Sin and it's kind of a light champagne color. We're just going to dab this right on the center of the lid. So just pat it right there and blend it over into the gold and into the silver. Now we can line the upper and, water, upper and lower water line. It's totally optional if you guys want to do that or not. I'm just going to take my Bobbi Brown Black Gel Liner, dip a pencil in. A lot of you guys ask why I use a pencil. You don't have to. I do just because it's easier to get right there in the water line. I don't like using a brush just because I tend to stab my eyes when I do it. So that's why I use a pencil. So just line the upper and lower water lines. Now take what's left on the pencil, and we're just going to put this on the very outer part of the upper lash line, just right here, just because I want to darken that to give this whole look some dimension. So take that and just put it right here on the outer part of the eye. Bring it up a little bit and just kind of smudge it very gently. Don't go in too far. Then you can go in with a pencil brush like this one, and you can take a little bit of the black shadow, and in this palette, that's Creep right here. And we're just going to smudge this right on top, bringing it up just a little bit. And what you could do too is put a little bit of that black out here just to add a little depth and dimension. Then take that same brush and you can use whatever color you want to smudge under here. If you don't want to smudge, you can skip the step too. I'm going to take the color Hustle and it's that dark plummy color and just smudgy smudge smudge this on the outer part of the lower lash line. Then wipe it off, pick up a little bit of that gold and put it right here in the center of the lower lash line. Now because we have so much shimmer going on on the eyes, I want to clean up under here just a little bit. So I'm going to take my um, concealer and just put a bit of that under here and then take a big soft dome brush and just kind of sweep it out. That way it kind of cleans it up under here and blends it out a bit. Then just curl your lashes and apply your mascara. Now for the rest of the face, I'm going to keep it really easy just because we spent so much time in the eyes. But I'm going to take a angled contour brush like this one. And I want a matte finish blush but just because there's so much shimmer on the eyes. So I'm going to use the Tarte one in exposed. It's a really pretty kind of mauve plum color. We're going to apply this under the cheekbone just because it is a little bit darker. So I'm just going to apply this right here almost like a, I'm contouring with it and then just blend it upwards. 
And then for the lips, we're gonna do some lip gloss. And I was just laughing earlier at this one. It's the Pocket Rocket. Sexy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but he's dressed all up in a suit. And then when you flip it, he's in his whitey tidies. <laughs> so take your sexy Pocket Rocket. And this is the color David. Ooh. So I'm gonna take that one. It's a really pretty kind of pink color. Just apply a light layer of this. And these are really nice lip glosses. They're very moisturizing, very sheer color. So if you want just a wash of color, these are great. So just apply a little bit of that for some plump lips with Sexy David. And that completes our look. So I hope you guys had fun doing these with me. Three different looks using your Naked palette. Something great for every day. It could be some of these obviously are nighttime looks, but still it's neutral colors. So if you don't want to wear bright colors, there's your options for you guys. So <clears throat> sorry for my sore throat or my uh, froggy voice. But anyways, go to MakeupGeek.com. I will have listed everything that I use, pictures, all that good stuff. So check it out. But be happy and healthy, you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.